Hello, it's Grandma, back with an art project for November. Towards the end of this month, usually around the fourth Thursday, I think, of the month of November, we have a special holiday where we all get together and we share eating a big meal together with friends and family. Hopefully this year we'll be able to do that, some of you. Uh, what's one of the main things that we often have for Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, that's right, it's a turkey, isn't it? So today, I thought I would show you how to make a very simple turkey using just your fingertip. So we'll do some fingerprint turkeys. We just need a small piece of paper, because our fingers aren't very big, are they? And you will need some watercolor paints which I actually put a little bit of water in some of them, just a drip to get them kind of rich in color. You'll need a container of water. And I use, in my fingerprint turkey project, one of these little eyeballs that you can buy at a craft store and a little glue to put that on with. So here we go. Show me your pointer finger. There you go. Get your paper ready. And first of all, we're gonna make, with our finger, we're gonna use brown paint. So I'm gonna dip my finger in the water and dip it in the brown paint till I get it on my fingertip. And I'm just gonna press that down on my paper. And that's gonna become the head of my turkey. And then I'm gonna do it again. I can just use the same finger over and over back into the brown, and right underneath the head, I'm gonna press it again to create the body of my turkey. And then I'm gonna do it one more time in the brown, right off the back of those shapes, which is kind of going to be where I get to place all the colored feathers. So right now you have one, two, three brown fingerprints that look something like this on your paper. So then you might want to wrench your finger off and wipe it on a paper towel because we're going to change colors. All right. Next, I'm going to start using red. You can choose any colors you want for your tail feathers of your turkey. They have a lot of feathers on them, don't they? Turkeys are birds, so they have feathers. I think I'm gonna use red on my fingertip and right along here, I'm gonna press my red fingertip so it looks like feathers, maybe three times. You could do it a little more if you want. So there, I've started my red feathers on the back of my turkey. You know turkeys can fly. They can fly up to 55 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car goes. I don't think I've ever seen a turkey fly, really, but I guess they can. Um, I think I'm gonna go into orange. And right here, I'm gonna make another row of feathers touching the red ones just by pressing my finger probably use four or five presses of orange this time. Just have fun with this project. You don't have to do it exactly like Grandma. Oh, but those feathers are really getting out there, aren't they? Clean my finger. And I'm going to put one more color out here. I think I'm going to use yellow but you have all the colors in your paint palette, so you can decide what color turkey feathers you want your turkey to have. I'm gonna go into yellow, clean that finger good first, because yellow is your lightest color. If you want it to look yellow, you don't want all those other colors mixed in it. And I'm just gonna press and lift, press and lift my finger. Once in a while I might have to add a little more water. We want them to look like fingerprints too, so we kind of understand how we made the project. And I'm just pressing and lifting. I'm not wiping and smearing. 
Wow, my turkey's getting pretty, huh? I'm going to clean my finger. And then I'm going to get me a little tiny brush. I think I forgot to tell you to get a little tiny brush at the beginning. <laughs> because our turkey needs to look a little more like a turkey. So I think if we add some legs, and how many legs does a turkey have? Two. I think they have two legs. I'm going to use orange, get some on that little tiny brush, and here at the bottom, I'm just going to put two lines, and then I'm just going to put little marks like feet off of them, and they have like a little spur, the male turkeys do, on the back of their legs, so I might add that too, so I'm just, I'll show you here, kind of my steps, just kind of give your turkey two orange skinny legs and then add some little turkey claws I'm gonna put three sort of like that and then off of the back of their leg like where the elbow of the leg or something would be there's a spur and I guess that helps the turkeys kind of protect themselves they spur things that might bother them. And then this is going to be where his head is, his face. So they have like a beak. Um, and I'm just going to do mine in orange. It's kind of a little triangle. Not very big. Something like that. And they also have a reddish colored. Um, it comes off of their beak really from the top and comes down. And it creates like a, a wattle with red skin. Um, so we're going to do that in red. So I'm just going to put a thin line right over the top of the beak and then create a little cluster of red skin under that beak. Sort of like that. That can be their their waddle. Alright. Now other than putting his eye on with glue, I think I'm done. Then I need to let him dry. So see how simple this is? So here we go. Let's review. We did fingerprint fingerprint, fingerprint to create the brownish feathery body. And then we did a different color here. I used about three or four fingerprints and a different color here, which I used red and then orange. And then we added more fingerprints as the tail feathers flare out. And then we added some skinny legs with his claws and, um, spurs, those little teeny sharp things on his legs. We added a beak and we added a waddle. And now I'm going to put the eye on there. Like I said, these are fun. You can they don't take very long. So if you don't have much time for your art project, this is a good one to do. You might want to end up making lots of little turkeys on your paper or a card for somebody for Thanksgiving, or if you're having several people over for dinner, or even you and your mom and dad, you can make a little place setting and add your name to these. So there's your turkey. And how's the turkey go? It kind of sounds like gobble, 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 doesn't it? Okay, have fun guys with your turkey. <laughs>